Yeah, I've recently been surprised to see this video appear on YouTube, which is quite a compliment to me, really, I suppose. Um, have a look at this. There's something different in the way of microcar videos. Just like the real thing. Anyway, that set me thinking. I wonder if I can make up a little video now for some of my microcar models. Let's see what I can do. Oh, this was a video I put onto YouTube some years ago. Video of slides of my very first Messerschmitt. Got more Alberts coming in again here. Anyway, this is where I restored the one that I eventually uh, got on the road. You can see that sometime if you're interested. Anyway, let's go and look at some models. This is a photograph of my completed Messerschmitt and the on mini car I eventually restored. Or most somebody else did most of the restoration on that one, but I enjoyed running it for a few years. Anyway, beside this photograph is a model of a smart, which is quite a nice thing. Um, this is actually a radio controlled version. But in the garage I've got some other smart models and um, also some Messerschmitts. So we'll go out there in a minute and uh, have a look around there. Yeah, I see the Messerschmitts are fairly high up so uh, let's see if I can redo them in situ without actually having to take them down. There's one nice little blue bottle. There's a cabriolet. Nice models. And um, I think it wants me to smart out and over again. Here's another smart model. Also into minis at one time, not this modern type of mini, but this type of mini. We owned several of those over the years. My first car was one of these. And perhaps one day I should be rich enough to get one of these. Ah. In my bedroom, this is where I keep most of my models. And you see a massive smit or two amongst this lot. Uh, models of a smart and a nice uh, Smallest massive smit model I've got is that little one there. In fact, I've got some more, but I fear they must be still packed away in the loft in the box from my house move ten years ago. I just got out a representative selection, I suppose. Those are the two market cars I was most involved in. We're still in a Hanko bubble car and a Messerschmitt. And enjoying a Messerschmitt and enjoying a Smart. And after this one, we had the Mitsubishi I, which uh, was only imported for a year. It's well, less than a year, I believe. And you can only get that body shape now with an electric motor in it called the IMEV. Here 
was a scootery magazine article on some of the bubbles that I had and some of the scooters. Well, you can hear a steam train in the background now. Some of the pleasures of living in this part of the world. But sadly the Messerschmitt has long gone due to financial problems we had at one time. In the winter time we can see the trains from our bedroom. In the summertime the trees have grown up over it. <laughs> we still hear, still hear the sounds. And here was another magazine article on the on the scooter that I restored, Piatti, which was my first vehicle at the age of 17. And I still got that one, luckily. And I said, Lance. Well, there's a photograph of my smart side of friends, Isetta. That's when I had a, one of the first imported smarts in the country. Left hand drive, of course. <laughs> Happy memories. Yeah, in the computer room I've got photographs here of uh, my smart and the smart beside it's a bit high a couple of reflections from the windows here um, well, I was coping with the Mitsubishi eye yeah come a long way I suppose since the days of uh, being here on my scooter many years ago. Huh. Yeah, surrounded by all these ancient memories. Well, with our Wolsey Hornet, that was a good little car. Anyway, let's see if I can put this together into some sort of interesting video those are like this sort of things <laughs> there's me riding the little piatti there's my wife well with a Lambretta TV 175 we had at one time a stored one another of my interests is classic buses there's my piatti beside uh, Plymouth Leyland PD2 Restored Dayton Albatross. And here's a signature by the inventor himself of the Piatti, Vincent Piatti, on a picture of my restored one. And here was the uh, car we bought, the demonstrator of the Mitsubishi I. You sometimes wish you could keep all your vehicles or your favourite vehicles, and I think that would be certainly one that I could would keep if it was at all possible. And we're back to that same picture again. And while we're looking at photographs here, um, the recent news of Quantop Motors going into liquidation. Here was a photograph of two of their buses in a rather unusual location. I think the double decker has already been passed on and uh, I fear the little single decker will soon have to follow suit. These are a couple of the more modern um, buses in their fleet. There was me besides my ankle. That was a long time ago. Do you remember what year that was, love? No. 80s, wasn't it? Yeah, it must have been in the 80s. 80s or... Could have been early 90s. Mm -hmm. Might have been early 90s. That's a millilitre road, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and this is a picture of our current Leica car. Files a very nice little... I had to cope in, which we can now take to certain rallies because it's over the 10 year mark. 
So that's a very brief look at some of our microcars, past and present.